All right, kia ora everyone, it's Nathan Rose from Cap Gemini here in beautiful Auckland, New Zealand. It's been a while since I've done one of these power effects videos. I've been neck deep in Gen AI for the last few weeks, getting ready for my upcoming session at the New Zealand Business Application Summit. However, I wanted to share some stuff that I got into over the past few days, just a few few little things, so this will be a quick one, but uh, was was pretty cool, so I wanted to share it. So let me go ahead and share my screen. So I was inspired by this blog by uh, Van Carl Nguyen. He's a power platform developer based in Europe. And I saw this blog on LinkedIn where he got into some of the guts of Power PowerFX plugins behind the scenes looking in the, um, the plugin registration tool in the XRM toolbox. And he discovered some school, cool stuff. And so I decided to get hands on and try it out for myself to see what happens. So huge shout out to Van Carl Nguyen for his blog. It's a fantastic blog. Um, if you get the chance to check it out, highly recommend it. But let's take a look and see um, what goes on behind the scenes when we start playing with this in the plugin registration tool. All right, so what I've done is I've created an automated plugin that runs on this table called League Season. And all it's going to do is set the name of the row. Now I've set this up to toggle manually. So it's it's the plugins running pre-operation, it's synchronous. And I've set this up to run when I toggle this, this column on my form. So let's go ahead and do that and see the plugin in action. And you can see that it's worked. So, um, so that, that's my plugin in action. Now let's say that I want to play around with this. I want to set it to run post-op. I want to make it async. This is where the XRM toolbox comes into play. So come back here to my, to my plugin. We can see that it's running pre-operation and we can toggle it to post-op here, but let's take a look in the XRM toolbox. So this is the plugin registration tool. Those of you who work with plugins all the time will be very familiar with this. If you are more of a functional or a maker, you may not be as familiar with this and probably not something you want to get too hands on with. This is really is more of a developer tool. So as Carl pointed out in his blog, the PowerFX plugins show up under the PowerFX evaluator plugin and they just show up as steps here. And so what I'm going to do is double click on this. It's going to pull up my plugin step and we can see everything from the Dataverse Accelerator app. So I'm going to update. It's running pre-op. It's synchronous. So let me go ahead. I'm going to toggle this to post-op and let's update this. Now I'm going to get a warning here because this is running on all columns on, on, that, on that table, even though I am filtering with a power effects if then expression, it's still going to run regardless. On a traditional plugin, you would set the columns that you want this to run on. So we're just going to say no, because um, we want this to run on everything. Let's come back here to the Dataverse Accelerator app. And I'm just going to refresh my screen. And let's go back into the plugin. Take a look and look at that. It's toggled to post-op. That's pretty cool. So we can toggle, we can toggle this from the plugin registration tool. Now the other thing that that you can do is you can set this to async. So we're going to do that in a second, but let's actually see if this works when we toggle it to post-op. Now I have not had a lot of success running plugins post-op in the PowerFX uh, low-code plugins. Uh, they generally work for me pre-op and not post-op, and I'm, I'm not 100% sure why. Um, but let's uh, let's go ahead and see if this works. So let me go ahead. I'm going to clear this column, toggle this to no, and let's try and run this again and see if it works. And we got an error. So let's see what we got. So I'm getting object reference not set to a reference of an object. So it's not liking that for reasons I 
don't quite understand when I set this to post up, but it does work pre-op. Now the same thing happens. This is actually the same error message I got when I set this. The, the first time I did this, I changed this to async and I got that error message. When I had it as synchronous and post up, it just didn't execute. It didn't do anything. Um, so, but if we go ahead and update this again, so let's, uh, let's change this to async. Let's update it. Let's see what happens. I'll come back here and save the record. And you can see nothing's happening. So it's the plugin is not triggering for reasons I don't quite understand. So yeah, so just want to point that out that while it is really cool that you can get behind the scenes to see what's going on with these plugins through the plugin registration tool. You do want to be careful because it looks like there's some stuff that it doesn't quite like. So, um, yeah, so just be advised. So it doesn't, it looks like they don't support async operation. If I change this back to pre op and synchronous, back here and toggle this back. And now it'll work. So it so yeah so yeah so it looks like um, you they really only support synchronous operation at this point. They don't support async. And while the Dataverse Accelerator app does let you create automated Dataverse plugins that run post op, um, I haven't had a lot of success with them, and I'm not entirely sure why. So my I generally set them up to run pre operation. So just a quick update from me. Um, again, shout out to Carl Van Nguyen. Fantastic blog. If you haven't read it, um, check it out as he does really get behind the scenes and show you how these work. Um, but I would say just proceed with caution because it doesn't look like the plugins are set up to, to accept some of the um, um, manipulation that you can do with a traditional C-sharp plugin. So that's it from me. And... Uh, Look forward to speaking to you soon.